Hey guys, this is Philip Frogs, certified Ableton trainer and Point Blank instructor. In these videos, we're going to be looking at some of the latest features in Ableton Live 9.5. If you want to learn more Ableton techniques, make sure you check out our courses at pointblanklondon.com. So you're probably acquainted to warping. This audio elastic technology is at the heart of Ableton Live. It enables us to tweak, change, control the tempo of an audio file. You can stretch, compress the length of an audio file. Now, did you know that you could warp multiple files simultaneously? This is great when trying to line up or tighten up a multi-track recording. For example, you've recorded a set of drums with a few microphones and the drummer wasn't tight enough at some stage. You want to line things up a little bit so you can maybe take the snare drum, line up the snare drum, and if you're in multi-warp mode, all the other stems, all the other recordings will actually move and line up as well as you're moving the snare. But this technique can also be extremely useful when trying to remix a track that has tempo fluctuations. So this is what I'm going to show you today. So I'm going to move over to my arrangement view and open Ableton's preferences. You need to ensure that in the Record Warp Launch tab, the Auto Warp Long Sample option is turned off. You don't want Ableton Live to automatically warp the files for you. So I'm going to go and grab the stems now. I've got a set of stems here. And if I drop them here on the first track, you'll find that Ableton Live will place all these audio files on the same track. So that's not what we want. Instead, I'm going to go and grab the stems again. And this time, as I'm hovering above the track, I'm going to press and hold Command. And now Ableton Live will stack up all of these audio files on different tracks. So I'm going to enable all the tracks to play. Make sure that volume is at zero here. And then I'm going to play the track so you guys can hear how fluctuating this is. This is quite roots, cumbia music. So you can see the issue here. If I want to create an electronic rigid track and use these sounds, I cannot line them up because they're, they're too fluctuating. It's too live. So I'm going to need to tighten things up with warping. But instead of doing it one stem at a time, I can do them all at once using multi-warping. So I'm going to go through these stems one at a time and try and find one of the sounds, one musical element that has a steady rhythm, a steady tempo. So not the vocals. Not much level here. Not much level here either. Oh, there you go. That's that's quite steady. And also it's playing all the way through the track. That's pretty good. Guiro is not bad either. Vocals, forget it. It's too live. It's too fluctuating. Cool. All right. Congas. I think the Maracas will be doing it. The Clave. The bongos. So these are the stems, you see. All the elements of the track separated on different audio files. So yes, the maracas is the one I'm going to use. I'm going to place it at the top so I know which one it is. So I'm going to use the maracas as a reference, as a, almost a master tempo for all the other files. So I'm going to double click the actual clip and see the waveform of that maracas. And I'm going to multi-select all of these clips, command A, control A on the PC. Now Ableton tells me 11 audio clips with different length are selected on different tracks. So basically Ableton will not let me enter the multi-warping mode as long as these clips don't have the same length. And you see here as I zoomed into the end of the, the clips, they don't have the same length indeed. So I'm going to multi-select them come day and I'm going to line them up like so. I'm going to zoom in a little better. Like so. I'm going to grab these three here. I think this is all right. Let's have a look. Oh no, it's not yet. Okay, that's it. Now they all have the same length. However, they have the same length on the screen, but in the hard drive, the original files haven't yet been trimmed, and that's not going to let me enter multi-warping as long as the hard drive files, the actual files themselves, have the same length. So I need to consolidate all of these clips and create new clips out of them, and by pressing Common J, Ableton Live will basically export, create new clips, and these clips will have the length I've set on the screen. And there you can see Ableton Live will go into multi-warping mode and you know it because you can see here on the bottom, on the left hand side corner, stripes. So when you're in that mode, striped mode, you're in multi-warping mode, okay? So let's make sure that I can see the maracas in there, come A to select them all back into warping, multi-warping mode. Really important, you make sure you always see these stripes when you're multi-warping, yeah? And I'm going to move on to the very first sound. So I'm going to double click, place a warp marker here. and 
the first thing I wanted to do would be right click and place 111 here to tell Ableton Live that's the beginning of the file. Well, in multi warping mode, you don't have that option. So I can't place 111 here. So if I want to line all of these stems with my timeline, I'm going to need to do it over here on the arrangement view itself. Okay. So Command A selects all the files and I can now trim them all. But I want this to be on a whole number. So I'm going to actually click hold the warp marker and line them up to a whole number like six for example and now I can easily go and trim all the files and it will start at six now I want you to see what happens when I move this warp marker you see all the other files move as well can you see that everything follows we're in multi-warping mode here so great I can now line everything up to number 111 here that's it right there so I'm going to now place my loop brace on the arrangement view. I cannot use the loop brace inside the clip itself here. Look, if I, if I loop there, I don't get the uh, loop brace at all. This, this, this is inactive, okay? So this is not active at all. So it's not this loop brace you want to use, and instead, it's the actual loop brace here you want to use, okay? So I can now start my warping with my metronome and line things up slowly from left to right. Oh, let's hear the maracas, there you go. Good. So I'm going to go from left to right here, and I'm going to place a warp marker on every bar. I'm going to basically, one bar at a time, I'm going to line up, I'm going to straighten up this audio file. And as I do so, you'll notice that all the other stems are moving as well. Can you see this? Look at all the other stems up there. They're all following that warping I'm doing here, and that's multi-warping. So you see the gain of time and the precision we're getting through that technique, because all the stems are lining up as I lined up these maracas like so. So from left to right, make sure you don't mess up one loop. They all need to be tight and, and well warped. If you mess one loop up, all the other following loops are going to be off as well, okay? Like so. So it's quite time consuming, but compared to what it would be if I had to warp each and every stem, uh, this is so much quicker, yeah? Only one warping to be done, not 11 warpings like I would do with 11 stems. And I carry on a little further. I'm not going to do the whole file here, otherwise the tutorial would last an hour. <laughs> there you go. And you see, I'm progressing now from left to right here. So w when I've set up the length of the loop up there, yeah, I select the loop and I use my arrow keys on my computer keyboard to basically shift the position of the loop brace, but while it's retaining its length, okay? So that, that's a good trick as well, yeah? You select it when it's black like this and you can basically move left and right, okay? Good, so I'm gonna carry on one more bar. There we go. Great, so let's 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 listen now how this feels. So against the metronome, we're going to play all the stems together. Great, you see, this is tight, much tighter than it was before. I'm going to turn off the loop here, and you're going to find that when the playhead goes beyond the point I've actually warped, you're going to find that the metronome doesn't follow anymore. Right now, it's fine. There you go. See? This is completely off. It's not following the metronome anymore. So you can now see how important it is to tighten things up. So I can now grab little parts of these elements to create my own track and use that. Now, something else you need to know, maybe for example the vocals, once you're finished warping it, you can basically change the the vocals on Complex Pro, for example, maybe uh, um, the, the maracas and the, the congas can stay on beat, but basically you can basically now change the warping mode so the sound is uh, slightly better, yeah? You know, vocals would work a little better if they're on Complex Pro, for example, yeah? So you see how important this technique is. If you're lining up multi-track recordings or if you're lining up stems like I'm doing here, uh, this is a, a huge gain of time and precision.